Great. Let's start with a question from Mark Narducci. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, Doc, could I just get your reaction when Joel went down, what, what you were thinking at, at that time in the first No, Mark, I didn't see it. So um, I saw him by the time I looked, he was up. Um, I didn't even know what had happened, honestly. Um, and walking off, he told me he's all right. He just needed to get a check. So I didn't have much of a reaction. I mean, this was just a night where nobody could give him help, right? I mean, he, he was- No, no, but we didn't help ourselves either. I thought we were step slow all night. This was a tough game. You know, when I looked at the schedule, sometimes you have scheduled losses, but you know, when they have guys out tonight, uh, there's no excuses. I mean, half their offense was off the floor before the game, you know, uh, losing Ben hurt us, losing self hurt us at halftime. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I think they had with 93 going into the fourth. Um, and I, it, it's funny, Mark, it's rare that I, I look at that and I thought it was more our inability to move the ball offensively. Um, they created a lot of their offense. Uh, and then they ran good offense as well. Thank you. Go ahead, Kai. Hey, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts on what was going on in the third quarter there. It just kind of seemed like Portland had the right energy. Your guys really didn't. They scored the first 14 points. What did you think? Yeah, we just didn't have energy. We didn't have it all game, Kai. Um, and, you know, I thought, no. Uh, you know, teams know that they feel that. Uh, and I thought in the third quarter, I guarantee you, they talked about it at halftime. Like this team is dead on their feet right now, man. Let's, let's try to push this lead up. And that's exactly what happened. And then uh, on the defensive end, I mean, obviously you're missing Ben, but how, like, how like, do you feel like you were missing Ben's presence on that end? Like if you had a quantum. I, I thought we missed presence all over the floor. That's the point I try to make to you guys when we start talking about Ben not taking threes. Uh, and I, I keep trying to tell everyone, Ben's value is so much more than what you guys are talking about. Um, and you can see it early on today, uh, just defensively. Um, he spearheads our defense, you know. But here's the bottom line, though. We still have to be a decent defense when Ben's not on the floor. Uh, we were a bad defensive team tonight. But I thought we were worse offensively. Um, and, and I thought our offense contributed to a lot of uh, our bad defense as well. Thanks, Coach. Go ahead, Kyle. Hey, Doc, uh, have you been given any indication what's going on with Seth? Like, are, are you under the impression that he's still dealing with uh, after effects of COVID or is there something more that's going on here? Yeah, with we're just checking out everything, Kyle. That could be part of it. Um, he's, he just looks, you know, tired. He's, he's looked like that for a while. So we, ju we just need to be very safe. You know, uh, we're in uncharted waters with all this stuff. Um, and he didn't say, he said he didn't feel great. And that's all we needed to hear. Um, and we just have to be very careful right now. Got it. Um, for, for Tyrese tonight, and I guess generally speaking, are you happy with the amount of threes he's taken? Like I, 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 tonight he was on Joel's strong side on post-ups a bunch. Yeah. And there were some moments where he probably had a window to shoot and passed it up. So I guess. How do you balance that with him getting into the um, about stuff I like that? I think it's a balance with him. Like, um, personally, I think the first pass out usually should be a pass uh, in the double team or a repost. Uh, but if you're open, you're open. Uh, Matisse had one uh, and passed it up. You know, it, it's never going to be a, the perfect thing, you know. Uh, I just want him to have a better feel. Tyrese, in particular, needs to be a playmaker and a scorer. Uh, he can't be one or the other. Thanks, Doc. Next question comes from D Lynham. Doc, I'm just going back to like the appreciation we should have when Ben's not on the floor defensively. If we had to choose, are they equal? When you miss Joel, you miss Joel. And when you miss Ben, you miss Ben. Like it is equal what these two bring to the table. Yeah, they, they bring such a different skill set, uh, D. Uh, Joel's is obviously easier to, to notice, and that's the point I was making. Um, you know, uh, it's so right in front of you because of scoring and rebounding and size and a go-to guy. Uh, ben, you have to watch the game to see how many times you miss him on both ends. You know, how many times did we get the ball off a rebound, somebody pushed it up, get into the paint and lead to a three? We couldn't get to the paint tonight offensively. That's what Ben does, you know. Uh, Ben's ability leads us to take threes, 
uh, he doesn't necessarily take them. He creates them. You know, I think he leads the league in that category, as a matter of fact. Um, but then Ben's ability defensively, uh, not only on the ball, but off the ball is, is just, and again, there's no numbers for it. So it's, it, unless you watch it and see it, you, you just don't notice it. No, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any <laughs> other questions for coach? Going once, going twice. Thanks coach. Thanks guys.